How's it going, everyone? I've been getting quite a few emails from people asking how to build their B2B email list uh, a little faster and a little more targeted. I've been explaining to people inside of emails that uh, the best way to do it is using you know, a more targeted query. And um, I get a lot of questions on how to build the queries more efficiently because honestly, if you type, this, type them all out, it takes quite a while. So I just want to show you how I personally build them and then you, how I use those to scrape. So as an example, we're just going to say that we're a business that's trying to target advertising agencies and advertising agencies, marketing agencies, and social media agencies. So I'm at facebook.com slash pages slash category. I'll leave this link in the description. And we're just going to open up each of these. And then we're going to copy this section on each one. And we're going to paste it into an Excel file. And for the sake of this demo, we're just going to say that we want to target you know, those businesses that are in California, since that's you now that's where I'm located. So we're going to use a combination of the city and the state. And we'll just do the first 30, just to you know, show you the concept. I'm going to paste these here. And if we were going to manually apply all of these cities to all of these different categories, I mean, it wouldn't take that long, but let's say your list of cities is 5,000 cities and your list of categories is 50. That's a lot of combinations to sit there and build you know, manually. So the fast way to do it is highlight the header, go to data, click from table range, and check this box, my table has headers. Okay. And it's going to load Power Query. From here, we're going to work now. Actually, let me make this smaller. So once we have it in here, we're going to click Add Column, Custom Column. We're not going to mess with the name, but we're going to say equals one. Click OK. And then we're going to go back home, close and load, close and load two and only create connection. Now we're going to move to the city state. We're going to go to data from table range. My table has headers. And just doing the same thing again, add a column, add a custom column. Don't change the name, put this as one and make sure that that value you put there is the same for both. Click OK. Home, then click in load two, and only create connection. Now, now that we have both of these, we're going to go to data, get data, combine queries, merge. We're going to select our tables, so table one, table two. We're going to select our custom column, and we're going to select from this drop down full outer. What this is going to do is put side by side in columns every single city state combination with every category automatically. And once it does this, I'm going to click this button here and make sure all those are selected. Click OK. And now it just did what I said I was going to do every single category with every single uh, city and state, all the combinations. So now we can get rid of these columns. And now we're going to close and load. And as you can see right here, there was 90 possible combinations. And now the next step is we're going to copy all of these. Copy. 
then we're going to paste it as values. So right click, sorry, right click, values. Now we're going to use these to build a query that we're going to use to scrape. So the query that I like to use to scrape Facebook is site facebook.com slash actually let me see what it is. There we go. As you can see, I've done this in the past. <laughs> Copy it from there, bring it back into Excel. Oops. All right, so that's the first part of the query. Now we need the ending. So it's gonna be in text, colon, quotation, quotation. All right, this may not make sense now, but it will once you see you know, what I do. So our query is gonna equal this first half right here, and we're gonna press F4 on a keyboard to lock it. So as we drag, it doesn't change the reference to cell F1. So F1, F4, and we're gonna give it the, the category. So D2, and then do and, space. This is just taking us to the next part of the query, which is the in text. And and, in text, F4 again to lock it so it doesn't leave that cell reference of G1. And the city. I'm going to do and again. And then end it right there. So now we have our query that we can run. So site facebook.com slash pages slash category slash advertising agency in text Los Angeles, California. And to show you that this actually does something, take it back here. And you can see that it returns 796 results of pages that have said that they're advertising agencies in Los Angeles. So advertising agency, Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, advertising agency. Los Angeles, advertising agency. They're also a jewelry store, which is kind of interesting. This one's probably not an advertising agency, but I mean, as part of the scraping process, you gotta remove the weeds later on. So anyways, now that our query is built, and I'll leave a link to this in the description. So after you use Power Query, you can really easily go back and just dump them in and then um, build your queries. You don't have to write all this out. So, well, let me just, so you highlight this cell, double click this box and send it down. Now you have a list of queries. So we're gonna copy that and bring in good old scrape box, paste these in as the keywords, and then we're gonna harvest. Make sure Google's selected, make sure your proxies are enabled, and click start. Give it a second to start going. And there we go, we're off to the races. I'll pause this and come back you know, when it's done. Okay, so it's all done. Uh, they got us a result of 821, but we're always gonna, you always wanna make sure to remove duplicate URLs. So go to trim, sorry, remove filter, remove duplicate URLs, don't click duplicate domains. Since everything's Facebook, it will just delete the entire list. So remove duplicate URLs. Now we're down to 817. Now let's grab the emails. So we're gonna grab check. Grab emails by crawling sites. It brings up this. Make sure use harvester URLs is checked. The depth is just one because we only want to look at the page we scraped and click start. Okay, now it's finished up and you can see that we grabbed 120 emails. And there you go. Nice fresh email list of uh, marketing agencies, social media agencies, and advertising agencies in California. If you have any questions or comments, uh, email me. Let me know. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you.